What do you do after designing the most sophisticated spacecraft known to mankind? For most inventors, the next step would be to spend hundreds of millions of dollars announcing this achievement on the world's biggest media platforms. But with the Starship project, Elon Musk has decided to save every penny of this potential marketing budget and reinvest it in building a bigger and better version of the rocket. But why is SpaceX building another Starship rocket? And what exactly will it look like? Join us in this interesting video as we explore the new Starship 2.0 rocket that shocked the entire space industry. Just like its founder, Elon Musk, SpaceX is renowned for being one of the most innovative and futuristic startups in the aerospace industry. From breaking the decade-long jinx of American astronauts traveling to space on Russian-owned rockets, to launching the world's fastest satellite internet service, and shipping tons of cargo to the orbit for private and government-owned entities, including NASA and the US military, every major project that SpaceX has set out to do in the last decade has literally turned to gold. Currently, the company's Falcon Heavy spacecraft is regarded as one of the most powerful rockets in existence. But apparently, Elon Musk has his eyes set on something bigger. The tech billionaire dreams of building an advanced spacecraft, perhaps one that is even more sophisticated than the Saturn V rocket that ferried Neil Armstrong and every other member of the Apollo mission to the moon. And that's exactly what he's trying to achieve with the new Starship 2.0. In hindsight, it's easy to see why the former world's richest man is keen to undertake such a delicate project at a time when the global economy is in shambles. He believes that the Earth is headed towards doomsday, and without a reliable alternative, our civilization could be wiped out together with the Blue Planet. To be fair, he has suggested some relevant solutions, like reducing our greenhouse emissions by promoting the use of electric vehicles. He's also suggested the possibility of colonizing a planet like Mars where humans can relocate before our home planet is destroyed. To colonize Mars, Musk predicts that we'll need to relocate at least one million people to the Martian world. But of course, you can't just transport one million people to Mars by whipping up a magic wand. We'll need a viable transportation mechanism to transport them there. And that's where the new Starship 2.0 comes in. But humans are not the only entity needed to colonize Mars. As much as we need humans, we also need tons and tons of cargo to make the harsh environment of Mars conducive for Earthlings like us. This includes food, medical supplies, construction tools, and life support systems. At this very moment, one of our existing spacecraft has the capacity to carry humans to the orbit of Mars, let alone transport tons of payload to the surface of the Martian planet. But the new Starship, 2.0, is about to change this. According to reports, this next-generation spaceship might be used to transport NASA astronauts to the moon. However, this innovative technology could also prove useful within the confines of our planet. Officials at the Pentagon are already considering the possibility of using this rocket to move military payloads across the globe. And considering its features, which are unprecedented by current standards, the Starship 2.0 is found to revolutionize the space industry, particularly when it comes to cost reduction and the sheer capacity of payloads it can haul at a time. When all the pieces of the spacecraft are stacked together, the new Starship 2.0 measures almost 400 feet in height, making it taller than the famous Statue of Liberty. And with a diameter of 30 feet, this next-generation rocket will be wider than any other orbital spacecraft invented in the history of mankind. But more interestingly, early reports suggest that the Starship 2.0 will be approximately twice as powerful as Saturn V, the last rocket that transported humans to the surface of the moon. Starship's launching process will be much like the takeoff process of the existing rockets invented by SpaceX. The rocket booster system, popularly known as Super Heavy, will transport the Starship capsule into orbit. But as soon as they arrive at the edge of space, these two components will separate, with the Starship continuing its journey while the Super Heavy booster returns to land on a designated launch pad on Earth. But it's not the conventional landing that you know, Rather than land in the usual way that airplanes do at the airport, this super heavy booster will be caught and guided to land vertically on the launch pad by two mechanical arms, which Musk has described as chopsticks. Everything about this space race will be an engineering marvel and we cannot wait to witness it. To start with, the Starship 2.0 rocket will be powered by the new Raptor engines, specially designed by SpaceX to improve thrust and operate efficiently. In its usual way, 
The aerospace company is keen to optimize this engine to be as efficient as possible while minimizing cost. However, there's a general belief that a complete design overhaul is necessary for the engine that can actually make life multi-planetary. Interestingly, the new engine won't be called Raptor, so we imagine that it would be called something like Falconfire, Starflare, or Hyperthrust. In addition, the number of engines in each Starship spacecraft will be increased, which will consequently increase the payload capacity of each rocket from around 100 tons to over 250 tons. Unlike other aerospace companies, SpaceX adopts the radical approach of testing whole prototypes, rather than different individual components. Sometimes, this ends in regret, as the prototype gets destroyed during the testing phase. But when it works, it gives the company an unfair advantage over other companies that spend hundreds of hours trying out different components before they test the main prototype itself. As a result, the company has become one of the favorite contractors of NASA and the US government. A few months ago, SpaceX was awarded a $102 million contract by the U.S. Air Force to develop a working prototype of a point-to-point -point spacecraft that can deliver cargo to any part of the world within minutes. To achieve this, the Starship will first launch into orbit before re-entering over a particular region to deliver the payload it's carrying. The mechanisms around this concept are almost 100% complete. In fact, the only things that need to be dealt with at this point in time are the legality and logistics around it. Given its speed and capacity, this spacecraft is bound to make space travel cheaper and safer. Already, the Falcon 9 is known as one of the cheapest available spacecraft, and this is thanks to its reusable design. Currently, every single flight aboard the Falcon 9 costs roughly $62 million, but with the new developments that will be introduced, the price for a single Starship flight could drop to as low as $2 million. The new Starship 2.0 is going to be one of the biggest space inventions of the last decade. We say this because the sheer amount of innovation behind it is unprecedented. According to Elon Musk, the new Starship 2.0 will measure 18 meters in diameter, meaning it will be twice as wide as the current Starship model. But expectedly, the aerospace company will also have to adjust the height to fit the design of the new diameter. Based on this analysis, the new height should be about the same as the Woolworth Building in New York, or around three-quarters the height of the famous Eiffel Tower. This potentially means the Starship 2.0 may be able to lift up to 1,000 tons of payload per launch, which is a significant increase from the originally planned capacity of 300 tons per launch. This, of course, would require the spacecraft to carry more Raptor engines, about 100 of them, to be specific. But if you compare that to the tons of payload that it will be able to lift, and the speed at which it will be able to deliver that cargo anywhere on the surface and even beyond, you'd agree that it's worth it. The new Starship 2.0 is another stunning innovation from Musk and SpaceX that is going to change the way we move from point A to point B in the vast emptiness of the cosmos. And for sure, when it's eventually launched, it's going to shock the entirety of the space industry. What do you make of the new Starship 2.0 rocket? Will it be the one to ferry us to Mars? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos like this one.